Hello and welcome back to another episode of Twisting Caves. Ah, I regeared a little bit. I made a bunch of charcoal. She also should really turn into torches right away. I have some more. Let's make some more. I'll run out. Whatever. 12 more. Let's just say that's enough for now. Ah, it looked like a pretty big area. I don't know. I also made a new axe because the sword is pretty crappy. Um, the axe definitely need superior weapon, I believe. I've used a lot of durability up already though. Oh, and one more thing that I discovered is, um, I know I wondered about it, uh, like this was very dark but there were no mobs. It's a mushroom island. And mobs don't spawn on mushroom islands, so... That explains that, I guess. But yeah, this charcoal making is really annoying. Not a fan. Uh, two, three, four should be more than enough. But we'll just go right now. Yeah, we'll have enough. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll be fine. I don't have any blocks left. That's the only thing I really need right now. I don't have any blocks anyway, so whatever. Oh yeah, and the teleporter back actually puts you back on top here. Oh, why can't I? I can't swing the X up like that. Well, I think I've noticed that before, but it's really weird. I, uh, I can't swing. I look straight up on the ladder. Can I? Oh, here I can. Here I can't. That's really weird. <laughs> Minecraft is such a weird game sometimes. Uh, red. This is where we need to go. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I feel like I should have the end pearl in my bar because if I far, it's going to be the only way to save myself. At the same time, who knows? I'll never have enough torches here. I already, I can already tell them. Whatever, we'll be fine. One spawner, two spawners, three spawners. This looks like it could be something new, something red. Could be pigmen. Oh, two spawners actually. Three, four. In the very narrow walkway. With like void gaps. I'm not a fan of the void at all, especially in an outside area like this. It's really scary. Lots of spawns over there too. I guess we need to... Oh, it's baby pigmen? And zombies with red heads. And it's not that scary. I could shoot them off, but I think I wanna... I forgot to get rid of the arrows, right? Yeah, I did. Because I don't, I have infinity. And I even dumped the other bow, so. As long as you don't hit this guy, he should be okay, though, right? Which makes Pigman spawner really, spawners really useless. Ah, that's not useless, though. What's that? Wither, weakness, and. There's something else. Slowness, blindness. And they're lingering, too. Okay, I don't like that one bit. <laughs> I guess it killed the baby big men, so I don't have to worry about angering them anymore. But man, that's not nice. That up there is the pigment spawner. So this is the bad spawner. I don't even know if I can break that. I feel like I should rush by this, but if I spawn another group of zombies, I might be in trouble. It looks like it's the same spawn twice. Could also be a pigment back there, but I think I see the red head. So probably the zombies with the weird armor configuration. Oh, when I jump, I'm just in range. <laughs> so spamming my jump button there. 
spawn some Pikmin babies. Okay. I can get rid of them though, which is good. I'm pretty sure they died, right? Yeah, there's nothing back there. I mean, they could have landed on the wall somewhere. Then it would be bad because then they would stay angry. Oh yeah, these guys haven't spawned yet, right? Oh, and they have arrows. With fire. And they fell off. Or it fell off. It might have just been one. Okay. Let's still do this. Just to make sure we don't get any more doors. Okay. Fire protection on breaking. That's an upgrade over unchanted chain. So we'll definitely take it. Okay. And this didn't instantly spawn again. So these potions, I guess maybe I can break that. It's just, I can't really see it spin. So I don't know how close it is to spawning again. Okay, got it. It did hurt. And it's Vita, so it can actually kill. It's Vita 4, that's a lot of Vita. It's gonna go through my armor really fast. But we broke it, so we don't need to worry about it for now. There are probably more spawns like that. Why can't I? Can you not place torches on glass? <laughs> oh, you can just on top, right? Uh, lapis blocks, and that's a diamond block right there. That has not <laughs> registered so far at all. But diamond blocks are probably used for. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, I could upgrade some stuff actually with that. Let's see, nine diamonds. Let's say I make a helmet because we have an unenchanted iron one and an axe for now. Um, definitely an upgrade. Maybe a waste of diamonds, but who knows, right? There's no way to know. We'll just use them however we feel is right at the, at the moment. And I don't think we need the shower. We'll put the blocks on the two slot. And we'll move on and hope that this is not a very bad place. It is sort of a bad place. Because there's a hidden spawner in there and you can't quickly break the stupid... Um, what are they called? Netherboard blocks. Yeah, that's what they're called. That sucks, sort of. Also chunks up our inventory again. <laughs> These guys have speed. They have sticks. I'm not a fan. Okay, this guy. I don't want to anger the pigman. If I can avoid it. That was weird. I don't know. I guess there was no knockback on that one hit or something. That <coughs> felt off. Bizarre. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of them spawned now. I don't want to shoot them off because they're very fast. I mean, I still want to shoot them off, but I don't think I should. I don't know why they are guarding the spawner, but they are. I don't think these zombies really drop anything great. Why oh, didn't far? I thought it was gonna be enough to let him to launch him off, but this is definitely gonna be enough, alright. Yeah, I don't like the it's just one like one single sword, or the axe in this case, I guess. It's gonna be really bad. And this looks like it's a launch thing or a teleport thing or something. 
I guess it's green and then there are red ones. I don't know how this works and these guys make me very nervous. Ah, oh, man. How close can I get to this without triggering the spawners? I can't tell what it is. It's probably a combination of skeletons and zombies, I would guess. This looks like a zombie, maybe. This one too, and this one is a skeleton. Or maybe it's just zombies, maybe it's just skeletons, who knows. Okay, we spawned them, and I think it's mostly zombies for the first two spawners. It's just if I miss one arrow, I'm in big trouble. Well, if I just miss, it's fine, but if I miss and hit a pigman baby... I, these guys running at me is not good, like it's just instinct to swing at them, and I should, definitely shouldn't do that. That's bad. But yeah, I, 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 at least I, I, I uh, identify the spawners correctly. Which is good to know. This guy we can launch off. Can I hatch out this guy? No. I can hit him lower because I suck. Is only that one guy left, really? I guess so. Nope. Did he spawn or was he just waiting back there? I don't know. Okay, so let's investigate this in peace. It could be a teleport, it could be a launching thing, it could be a lot of things. It could be nothing, but it would be weird. Oh man, why? Okay. We can teleport right back. So where's that? So green to green. That makes sense, I guess. Where did I come out? I just want to know where I end up. Without falling off, if that's possible. Oh, over there. Right, right, right. That That's not too bad. We can maybe deal with that. <coughs> Did I despawn already? Nice. <laughs> These guys make me very nervous. We just have to rush the spawn, I think. That's what we need to do. I think the place is both despawned. But that's good at least. How did I miss that shot? I don't know, but I did. Okay. I need more blocks, so I need. That was really bad. Didn't place a torch and was slow switching to the pickaxe. Let's just go away. I should do that more, I guess. That's the. Uh, yeah, if I can get them. Line up like that, like this. This guy is stupid, but okay, he's dead. It doesn't matter. I really don't like being out here, though. It's too close to the edge. Makes me makes me nervous. I'm very nervous here. And there are spawns like in between things here too. They might just be to discourage um, like bridging. They could also be like long distance things that it's activate from somewhere. Oh no. <laughs> I hate being. That wasn't me. Oh, that could be bad. The skeleton hit the pig, man. I don't think it should transfer anger at me. But it did. They have knocked back. I did not hit them. Just. I definitely didn't. Okay. But the 
like it transferred the aggro because the skeleton was aggro at me. I don't know. That's weird. That's really scary and really stupid. But we survived. Like they're not that scary. I just really I don't know. I could just kill them. A knockback stick and fire protection feather for him boots. We'll upgrade that because we're not swimming a lot here. I mean, the protection five is really nice. It's probably better than fire protection two, but feather fouring could be good in here. It might not matter at all, really, because it's just lots and lots of void around me, but maybe it does. And I guess I maybe take the knockback stick. I can't really put it anywhere. All right, how much, how much? How much more? How much longer is this thing? It's actually not that, that huge of an area because we just need to get to this teleporter and then we get teleported here and then we just walk around and get the wool and we're done. It's the theory at least. What? How was that not a hit? Like that one okay. I, I don't think I should have been that short, but the first, or the one before that. Yeah, even like it should have been hit. That's a lot of raises. Only the spawn from that spawn, oh, that's mean. Oh, that's just normal fire, not. No, 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 Blaze next to me. Ow. Oh, that was a hit, really? Okay, he despawned, and this guy we can knock off. Yes. Okay, so these Blaze spawners, they do spawn Blazes, but just if you just walk around on the ground here. Yeah, I thought they were just against bridging. Maybe it was just, just enough, I don't know. Let's just not worry about them too much. Okay, uh, turn around, run back, reassess. There are two more, I think. One and two. I think that's all of them. I think they should be dead. They could be on the lower platform there, but who knows, right? And a person on five, okay. Five is not a great slot, but if I put it anywhere else, I'm gonna accidentally use it. That's a lot of stuff. And I still heard a pigman baby. An angry one, I believe. Yep. Oh, more blazes, really? Is that necessary? Can hit them from here. I don't really know where they are, so. Okay, he's dead for sure. That's very far back now. I guess that's, the punch is really good against the blazes because they just they go so far away with the spawn. <laughs> All right, let's go back in. Could have probably stayed and broken at least one of those spawners, maybe in both. But no need to risk it, right? Okay, so we have here two spawners, chest, and then three spawners, teleport. This is safe, right? Yeah. Bit of a better pick, this would be a cakewalk, but it's fine. We're okay. And I hope my pick is gonna live long enough to uh, finish the map with it. It's not very far. That's a lot of them. 
and I don't have any like backdrop here, which is not good. Because if they knock me off, it's game over. Because <laughs> without the good bow, this is gonna be really hard to do. Also, I have most of my arrows, or my arrows really, on me. So yeah, this we can't die. We just can't. This is a really nice area though, as well. Um, it looks cool, it has a nice theme to it. With the fire stuff, and the teleports are nice, a nice idea. They're not too weird, it's pretty clear. Red goes to red, green goes to green. I could do without these stupid blaze spawns, but I guess they're there to discourage um, bridging. And they're just slightly too close to never have them spawn anything. Which is okay. How are these not getting any closer to him? There we go. Don't know where the others went. They might have just despawned already. So I think what we'll try to do is we go in and we go back out right again, right away again, because uh, I don't know what's over there. Actually, no, we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. We can stay. One, two spawners. Lots of spawners there. Lots and lots of spawners there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, four, five at least that are directly at the wool box, which is not very good. Guardians? What? That's not really what I expected. The punch doesn't really punch the spiders very far, does it? Does knockback resistance affect punch? It might. Just might. There we go. Four off. There we go. Okay. I should look like spider spawners. And then I saw guardians and it was that threw me off a bit. But it's fine. We dealt with them, it's it's all good. Uh, fire protection on breaking. I don't know, there's not that much fire damage here. We, yeah, we'll just keep wearing what we're wearing. I think we'll finish the map like this. If we manage to finish it, that is. Okay. Okay. Pigman the first one probably in that in that thing in there somewhere oh two of them or more who knows uh, I spawned something ahead of me don't know what zombies okay do we kill yeah we kill the pig man He's still alive right there. There he goes. I think that's all of them. I don't hear anymore. So I should be good. Okay. So this and that are probably both zombies. Those could be both skeletons. Don't know what that is. It could be bad potions. It could be ghasts. It could be. I can't see. Looks like gas to me, actually. It's very white and big. Now that they don't stick out of the spawns anymore, it's not that easy to tell. And those are probably blaze spawns, I would assume. Oh, and that's actually not zombies, it's pigmen. Which I guess are kind of zombies, but not really. Yeah, these, yeah, okay. It's not that bad. 
They're not spinning, right? No. Wasn't there another one? Maybe he fell off, or maybe I miscounted? I thought there was another one. Okay. So, of course, these could be like crazy skeletons, but I don't know. I don't think they would change change it up like that. Like, the skeletons so far were not terror. They had um, flame bows, but not punch. But then who knows, right? I mean, this is it, basically, so... Yeah, ghast, okay. We kill the ghast before we do anything else. Two hits of the crappy bow. Well, it's not a crappy bow, it's a really good bow. It's just not a very damage heavy bow. Let's just turn around slowly and leave. We're done here. This was much easier than the second area. <laughs> Ah, it made me really nervous because of the void, but I think we're done here, right? I mean, there's a gas spawner we didn't kill and a few break spawners, but I don't think you can reasonably expect me to break them. So I won't. I mean, the gas spawner will be not that bad. I don't have enough blocks to block up there, but I could just mine a few and then block jump up there, break it, be done with it. But the break spawners are just out in the void there. I'm not gonna bridge to them or and so I'm not gonna bridge to a single one of them. <laughs> Teleports are really disorienting, that's the only thing I don't like about them. Just make me face the, the exit there. Of the, of the little thing. Alright, so... I guess it's time to wrap this up, right? Oh yeah, we get put right here, I forgot about that. That's not the war. <laughs> That's the war. Overall, a really solid map. Um, these maps are always really impressive. I mean, they're made in under three hours, which is crazy to me. I kind of wish it was a firework or something. There isn't. So yeah, I guess that, that is it for Twisting Caves. Um, overall, I really liked the map. I thought the second area was a bit too annoying. But then again, the map is really short overall, so it's okay. Uh, the third area was really much easier than it first seemed. Yeah, I left some core here. I knew I did. Um, I'm curious about, like, I got some enchanted books from those spiders, but I don't think there was enough iron in the map to make an anvil, so... That cave sound is so crazy. It's a different one, right? That's a different one. What's wrong with those sounds? Why not I never checked out this down here? Could have been something, I guess. Uh, but yeah, this is, it's a... It was a well-balanced map. Um, there was not enough food in the second area, or in the first area, I guess. I could have farmed it. Ooh, that would have been nice early on, a knockback weapon. Oh, well, we did fine about it anyway. Is this our mushroom? Yeah, this is our mushroom island. That's why it seems so peaceful early on. Um, so yeah, other than the, the lack of food and the, the slight lack of core, Torches, torches. And I mean, that's like, yeah, that just that takes a while to balance that kind of stuff, right? And it wasn't like, it wasn't impossible to, to get either thing, so. I just didn't feel like farming in a short map like this. I don't feel like farming in any map, really. Always feels like a waste of time to me. Why is light down here? Is there like a hidden chest? Or is there more hidden light down here? I don't know. Oh yeah, no, that's Gilson. That's lots of Gilson. Okay. All right, let's maybe... Let's go into... Oh, I'm not allowed, really. Let's go into Spectre the mode and fly around a bit, see what I missed. I don't think I missed all that much. But... Then again... Everyone always thinks I didn't miss anything, right? 
because you never really know this when you do. I don't think there was anything up here that would have been weird anyway. Um, so yeah, the first area was, was fairly easy. Some, oh yeah, it has a huge honeypot thing above, right? I was wondering about that. Is this still Mushroom Island here? Mushroom Island? Oh, it's planes from here on out, but then... Yeah, with this, there aren't going to be a lot of natural spawns down here. Okay, so that explains that too. Um, I never broke that spawner. Oh, it's not a, a husk one. I guess it never spawned. Let's see, did I miss anything else? Got that chest, got this chest. Um, oh, there's a chest here. Psst, look down here. Ooh, that must be something good then, right? It is an empty chest. All right, did I get that chest? I missed that chest, wow. I broke the spawners on here and then I turned left. I never saw that chest. That would have been good because I was, I crafted an, uh, a bow right here, right? Wow. Yeah, okay. And then here, I, oh wow, that's, yeah, that's some weird stuff going on. It's loading something or unloading something. Whenever I come over here, Game just stutters like crazy. Don't don't know why. Uh, yeah, those slimes never spawned. Husks never spawned. What the hell spawn on here that I left alive? I, have you ever seen that mob? I don't think so. Is that like it? Is it even can it even spawn? Green Guardian, have you seen that? I don't remember seeing that scar. Would have been a nice scar for my collection. Oh, I destroyed it. Whatever. I have enough footage, I'm not sure why I'm rambling. I just felt like it, I guess. So I'm not mad if you if you stop watching now. It's fine. I just want to look over here real quick, see what I what I what I missed or what I skipped. Didn't really miss it. Uh, yeah, I got up to there and then beyond here. Spawner, spawner. But no chests, right? Okay, one chest here with. Ooh, that would have been nice and down here, but yeah, some blocks would have been good too. And fish. Um, yeah, that's really it, I think. I mean, it could be more hidden chests, but for obvious chests, I think that's it. So I only missed one there. Oh, and that goes back there. That's neat. It's a very neat area. It's just kind of big and annoying because of all the source sand and the water and the poison stuff. It felt really, yeah, this felt harder than the last one for sure. The last one just seemed very scary. Like I had, I had this like scary ambience, I guess. Well, why is there even a teleport? It's just it's just right down here. It could have made me walk that too. Ah, oh, whatever. It's not. It's not a big deal. I think we did everything here, though. I don't think we missed much, if anything. I mean, we left the potions here. We left the apples and the arrows here. Um, there wasn't really an, any need for potions at this point of the map. I held on to all my potions. I didn't use a single one. I didn't use a golden apple either, I think. Or did I eat one when I was hungry in the second area? I don't think I did. I, I saved them all. Something down there that I maybe missed? No, it's just closed down. It looked like signs from up there, but it's not. All right. This looks really cool, though. This is a really nice area. There's water up here. That's nice for speed running this, I guess. You could throw an ender pearl like here and then just drop down on top of this. Break your way down through here. Grab the wool and then I guess you have to run back through the teleporters, which should probably kill you. <laughs> I don't. I mean, you could have more ender pearls. 
but then that's not really speedrunning anymore because you have to farm in the pearls. Let's go. I mean, unless I missed some in a chest somewhere, there was only one in the map as loot. All right, so that's it. Uh, really nice map. Good job, guys. Good job. Uh, I forgot who made this. I don't even know who the main... Is there a main map maker here? Yeah, I think it's always a, a collaborative effort. Um, yeah, good job. Blade, Cecilius, the Atlas, and 8LM. And TV, Civilian, <laughs> Vihuda, Fornan. The second, 10 Sounder, the Epic 5, and then up Stargazer. Really good job. Star shot. Okay. I know it was something with star. Just after reading Stargaze, I need to check. Yeah, okay, this is it for the CTM app. I'll keep an eye out for more free hour miracle uh, mini CTMs and other mini CTMs and CTMs in general. Vur, Movur, Last War. Orkron Caves, Orkron Cave, Sandy Desert, that's not what it was called in the end, I guess. Where the swamp hides and void area themed after magics. That's the best name that you guys came up with, I have to say. <laughs> Our names are sorted, but this one is really good. Press button for a link to a voxel sniper cheat sheet. Jump boost for. <laughs> I'm not sure. Wow. I guess test cheat test stuff? Interesting. Pantheon? <laughs> Is that what you should be trying to spell out there? Interesting, very interesting. Oh, and we have some command blocks running actually. Is that progress on block? Is that block air? Interesting. <laughs> That's for player. Some skeleton. Invisible. Kill Vex. What? Interesting. I guess there's some crazy stuff. Or has some crazy stuff with Illichers, with uh, Evokers, and then Skeletons. And Vexes? I don't know. I didn't look at the whole command, I'm too lazy. I wanted to end this and then I got distracted. I don't, yeah, this is not, this, those are not the names. I guess, yeah, this is not an official name. I guess this, for the Swamp Heights, is sort of an official name. At least we know that now. And this is it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this map. I definitely did. And I'll see you soon with a new one. Bye bye.